Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video with Tank Reaver today on World of Tanks console. That's right, we're covering the 2-3 German artillery, the Wisp or Wasp. Um, sometimes it's kind of hard to understand what the Germans are trying to say. Like, for example, the famous German Tiger tank. Uh, it's called Tiger, or T-I-G-E-R. Tiger, I think that's how you spell it. I don't know if that's how, or is it? I have no clue. But to be honest, Sometimes their naming could be pretty weird, like the famous tier 10 German heavy tank in this game, the mouse. Why so mouse about it? I really don't know. But let's cover the wasp, wisp, um, in this today's video. So let's get right into it. The standard HE shells, yes this thing is HE as standard, is around 53 meters penetration. The heat gets 104 and the AP gets 64 meters of penetration. The 410 damage for the HE, which that is pretty decent. Uh, 350 for both the heat and the AP. The hit points of the vehicle is 130, uh, which you can see that this thing can one shot itself um, if it gets spotted. So just be an eye out for how much this thing is. And yes, this is the top gun. The max speed is 40 miles per hour, which is not the fastest at this tier, but then it's not the slowest because you got this little guy right here, which is a lot more slower. Yeah. But the view range is 330 and the consumer is 313. And let's go over some of the other stats. The commander, for now he only has one perk, which is green thumb, which is increases um, camera factor and forage which means bushes and stuff where he's gonna be perfect at this thing does get two different guns a 105 centimeter LEFH 16 L22 and the 105 centimeter LEFH 18 L28 which one would I prefer well they both have the same DPM rate of fire but one has a little bit better accuracy than the other one so I'll probably go with the upgrade one because the accuracy is no, not point seventy six. So basically, better in every respectful way. Otherwise, everything else is basically the same. It gives thirty two rounds of well, thirty two rounds. Uh, what would I put on this vehicle? I will put advanced concealment, uh, advanced gun line drive, which helps the show aiming speed by twelve percent, and the advanced loader, which load time is ten percent as well. Helps reload and this will reduce tanks detectability as well so meaning you could basically be less seen by the enemy. I also put a repair kit, first aid and fire exchanger. If so, I probably put this. The um what's this thing called? Rations. So uh, it's food rations, uh, activates use ten percent for crew performance or ten percent commander XP, ten percent crew performance when it's passive boost and then number of use you get unlimited and active time 30 seconds and cooldown one one minute so pretty not that bad I guess you if you really want to use that how much rounds do I put in this thing well I put around 22 rounds of HE because I like using HE <laughs> uh, around five rounds of heat and five rounds of AP the armor of the thing, now it is artillery, so the armor is not the best on it. You got around 5 meter sickness, which is the belly of the tank, and the inside of the fighting compartment back here. Uh, you got 10 meter sickness, which is the sides, a little bit the front of the fighting compartment. The little driver's hatch, and the tracks, which the tracks are space armor, and it looks like the lower, lower graces of both the rear of the hall and the front of the tank. Uh, you got 14 meter sickness which is the sides of the hull and the rear back here the butt end of the tank. You get 20 meter sickness which is the upper graces or the upper upper graces I guess you could say <laughs> and the gun and then you got 30 meter sickness which is the middle bit right here and then 35 meter sickness which is that little bit right there which is actually the tracks the extra tracks that is on the tank. Let's actually get her out to show you. As you see. Oh, my bad. There we go. 
as you can see right there that's the track so yeah pretty much all together pretty decent little artillery piece but let's see what she could do on a battlefield guys and like always I'll get you guys on that battlefield see you there so guys we're back on our first game Hidden Valley that's right Hidden Valley is our very first game with the West Wasp or what you, I guess you want to say it but uh this was a uh, it was a uh, alrighty kind of decent game I guess you could say just but when you're playing artillery don't expect too much of most of the games you're gonna be playing it we are top tier tier 3 game the light tanks are going to be the hardest vehicles to hit heavy tanks not so often because sometimes they're gonna be pretty slow the medium tanks they're gonna be somewhat easier or harder to hit so what's my first guess well I want to knock down these pine trees these whatever you want to call them because they I think of it. Their names are. It's on the tip of my tongue. Well, I'm aiming and I'm going forward. I wonder why it's white. Well, I forgot. I don't have that much gun elevation. So I'm reversing. Trying to knock down some more of these. Give me myself more camouflage factor. Uh, as much as it can help on this map. So I'm back here. I get a little bit more better range. It looks like not too much more better. But do you see enemy heavy tank? Wait until my thing, will, uh, my aiming goes in. Trying to make sure I can land a shot on him. I fire my first shot. I don't think that hits. No, it doesn't even hit him. So that was pretty sad. So I'm aiming over this way. I see a light tank right there. Go down in. Try and give the shot a lead fire. And yeah, this game didn't seem like it was gonna be a, a game that was gonna enter, but you know, unlike the last artillery review we did, this thing's actually a little bit more different. It's German. We fire, we actually hit him, hit his tract. But another tank popped up, I was like, oh. But sadly, we didn't hardly any damage to either, well, the one. Uh, the medium tank. This guy's sitting still. I want to shoot at him. Fired. Missed. Yeah. Terry's not the accurate vehicle. The most accurate. So I'm aiming at this uh, American Stewart tank. Fire. Mm, he's saying we just dinged him. So, yeah. Hey, oh, look at that. <laughs> Where you came from, little boy? Grind from that guy. Huh. Okay. But well, here's where artillery likes to be played with. That is a hit shot. That is the reason why people love playing artillery. When you get actually fully aim in and get that good shot and you do a lot of damage. But that shot missed. You're not always going to get that fun moment when you're in artillery like that. But when you do, yeah. We fire and that shot misses. This guy gets taken out while well, our friendly does. And then this guy gets taken out pretty quickly after. Here's this guy. Gave it a little bit of a lead, but it just completely missed. And this guy's coming forward. He's giving me my his side. I might do reload. It's good. It looks good. Do we fire? We fire right here. But that mm, it didn't even did anything to him. Okay, so let's go after this Stuart. Let's see if we can deal with him. Reverse, he's in reverse. I fired too soon. Yep, just a complete miss. Yeah, uh, I did have that one fun moment in this game by hitting that one meme tank for half itself. I aimed, but I missed this little VA type um, tank. Trying to get my eyes on these other light tanks over here. Bring it up higher. This guy is very low on hit points. Oh, there's someone else, but I didn't come in time. And I fire, but that shot just completely misses too. So, I was like, you know what, there's only three enemy light tanks. Let's try to get a little bit more closer. Tank destroyer style. 
Locked aim on this guy, waiting for my aiming. He's getting hit from all over the place. I fire and killed him. Yeah, I actually killed that guy. That was a pretty decent shot. Hang on! And I'm aiming at this guy. And fire! Nothing. Eh, okay. So, by the time I reload, he's he's gonna die. Same, really, yep, dead. <laughs> he's already dead. But it was a decent enough game to show some of the weak spots of this vehicle and some of the strengths what this vehicle could do in a battle. It didn't came first or second or third. But if you guys did like this video, please press that thumbs up button. And if you guys want to, subscribe to the channel. Like always, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one. <laughs> Bye for now.